I'm going to show you the current state of Polkadex order book and how to place some trades with it. Uh, but before I do that, I need some uh, test tokens on my Polkadex account for the assets I want to trade with. So let me go ahead and get some test tokens. Remember, I am using the Explorer to get some test tokens, but on the public testnet, you don't have to do this manually using the Explorer. You'll have the test token faucet using which you can request for some uh, test uh, tokens for the trading pair. So I have this uh, account that I'm going to use, PDEX Auto Book Test. I, let me send some test PDEX to that account. Send a hundred tokens. Sign and submit. Right, that's done. And I need the second asset that I want to trade with. Assets, balances. So I'm going to get some test BTC as well. Hundred tokens. Send, sign, and submit. Okay, so now I have some test BTC tokens um, on my Polkadex account and some test PDEX as well on my Polkadex account. I go to the order book app now and I'm going to create a proxy account using my main account which has the assets that I want to trade with. I've provided access for this page to my Polkadex extension. So this should automatically populate all the accounts that I have there. And I'm going to choose the Polkadex order book test account that uh, I just transferred some test tokens to. And uh, yeah, I save my mnemonic. I enter a proxy account name. Let me call this test n3 and put a password. And create my proxy account so the proxy account is inside a secure enclave and uh, this is what you will use uh, to place the trades with and this is linked to your main account it's going to take a minute Right, uh, the proxy account is now registered. Please don't mind the UI bugs. These will be fixed in the full public testnet. So I have a chance to download my mnemonic and uh, I also have a chance to uh, scan this QR code uh, using my mobile app and uh, create a proxy account for my mobile app as well and uh, use that to uh, link to the main account and uh, trade, place trades with. I come to the login page here. I select the account that I just created, input the password and login. And voila. That takes you to the order book app. As you can see, uh, someone's already testing this in the background. There is some uh, uh, buy orders here. But before I can place any orders, I need to deposit tokens from my main account to my proxy account. So I click on this uh, wallet icon here, click on deposit. I choose the main account from which I want to deposit my tokens from. I select the market, which is currently the only market on the testnet. Uh, I choose the asset that I want to deposit and choose the amount of tokens that I want to deposit. Click deposit, sign the transaction. 
Again, this should take a minute for block finalization. All right, deposit successful. Let me deposit uh, this second asset as well. Again, 95 tokens. Deposit, sign the transaction. deposit successful as you can see my balances are updated here uh, they should uh, show here as well now I go back to the app and um, I have some test tokens that I can trade with and yeah now I'm ready to place some trades all right let's go ahead and try both uh, limit orders and market orders as you can see, there are a couple of open trades here. Um, I see that there's an open trade, as a, there's an open buy trade for 4 PDX at a price of 2 TBTC. Let me go ahead and uh, sell at that price. The price of 2 TBTC, I want to sell 4 PDX. So, as a after I Click sell PDX. Um, this trade should get executed and uh, this should go away from uh, the open orders. Sell PDX. Yep, that got executed. Um, let me refresh the page. Yeah, there's some issue with the real-time update the first time uh, we place a trade but as you can see um, under your order history I see the trade that I just executed at a price of uh, 2 TBTC I have sold 4 PDX and uh, yeah, it's off the market now let's place a buy order next at a price of 3 TBTC, I want to buy 5 PDX. You can see that it um, populated here, and um, I see that there's this open order that I just placed here. Let's see if we can uh, partially fill it with a sell order. So at a price of 3 TBTC, I would like to sell 2 PDX. So that should leave us with 3 more PDX. Sell PDX. 3 more PDX. Yep, that worked just fine. Let's try and uh, test the market orders next. I see some uh, buy orders. So let me place a uh, market sell order for an amount of uh, 3 PDX or maybe 5 PDX and see if it gets executed at the best market price mm -hmm. as you can see I've placed an order for uh, 5 and um, Three of them got fulfilled at the best market price, which was um, 3 TBTC, and two of them got fulfilled at the best market price um, that was remaining, which was 1 TBTC. 
so yeah that just went fine place a limit sell order for an amount of uh, 15 PDX at a price of uh, 2 TBDC okay that's the open order now let me go and try a market order let me go and place a buy order at, a market, at the best market price and I want to purchase only I want to spend only 10 TBDC ah oh, someone's executed it already at a price of 2 TBDC let's place a limit order for 15 PDX create an open order okay let's try and execute this at the best market price so there's a sell order I want to place a buy order at the best market price for maybe I want to just spend um, 10 TBDC so that should give me 5 PDX at the best market price let's see if I get spell yep I did at the best market price of 2 TBTC I was able to uh, purchase uh, 5 PDX so yeah that's working fine as well also as you can see the graph is updating real time but um, since there are not a lot of orders at the moment um, you can barely see it but once active uh, uh, trading starts on the testnet you should be able to see um, uh, the graph producing uh, fancy visuals what we want you to primarily focus on is uh, creating a proxy account using your main account depositing tokens to your proxy account and placing trades with it, placing buy trades, sell trades, limit orders and market orders and uh, make sure that they're working fine that should be the primary focus of uh, the first iteration of um, the testnet all right that's it for today thank you so much